start video now. February 27 guys. What's up? The sky. I'm six days away from starting my cut. Six days away. Woo! Yesterday was the Oscars and man I gotta admit I had two donuts, two quesadillas, candy, and a few other treats. So I did treat myself. It was delicious. Yummy 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 in my tummy. But I'm starting my cut in a few days. It's about to get serious guys. About to get strict. County macros and I'm gonna get shredded for summer. I weighed in at 179 this morning. Within this 90 day challenge I hope I can drop about maybe 15 pounds. That'd be cool. 15 pounds not too bad. Try to keep my strength. I'm headed to the gym and I'm gonna do chest today. Okay, this is for the people that are getting into the gym, getting into the fitness lifestyle, and just into the health and fitness world. And you wanna change your life, change your, your eating habits, and change everything, get into the gym. Tip number one I would give to people who want to get into the gym and start doing weights, whether you wanna lose weight, gain weight, or just have a better health lifestyle, I would recommend for you guys to go into the gym with a game plan. Do some research and figure out what your goals are. Once you figure out your goals, you can look up workout routines that will get you to your goals. And I think it's real important to have a game plan going into the gym. Have a workout routine that you are going to follow once you're in the gym rather than going in there without anything and just doing whatever you think you're gonna do. Don't go in there blindsided. Go in there with a routine that you're gonna follow. That's tip number one. Just crushed my chest workout. That was a good workout. I enjoyed it. It was The gym was packed, so it was a little hard to get to the machines, but I got it done. It was good. Quick little story about this jacket. I get complimented a lot on this jacket because it's a nice jacket. You know, it's a cool jacket. The story behind this jacket is, it was my grandpa's. He basically traded me this jacket for a black leather jacket I had. My grandpa has some good style. So tip number two. You guys know I like to keep it real on this channel. Just talk the talk and walk the walk. So tip number two is diet, guys. Diet is crucial to getting results. A lot of people break their heads on their diet. You have to do research, set your goals, find out what you can eat and what you can't eat. Keep it clean. Keep it to the good carbs, the good fats, okay? You don't have to get too extreme. But if you really want to get serious about it, I would recommend for you to get my fitness pal because that is the easiest way to do it and start counting your macros. Worry about your proteins, your fats, and your carbs. Figure out those numbers, how much you need to intake for each one and follow that and meet it every day. Hit the gym, work out, and I guarantee your results. If you have the cash, if you have the dollar dollar bills to spend, hire a trainer that will set your goals for you. That's probably the easiest way to do it if you're being lazy and you got the dollar dollar bills. But if you don't, like most of us, do your research. Everybody has a phone in their hands now. Literally, everyone has a cell phone with the interwebs. Go on the interwebs right now and look up macro calculators. And with that, you can find out what your macros are according to your goals. It's real easy. It'll ask you to set your goals. It'll ask your weight and if you're active, if you're not active, and then at the end, it'll give you your macros and follow that. Easy peasy, just like a sack of potatoes. But if you don't wanna be that extreme, just keep it clean and simple and eat good food. You're smart enough to know what good foods are. Here comes a max tuning transition. You guys ready? Here we go. Let me try it. Bam. Do you guys like that? Was that a cool transition? Can't take all the credit. Max Tuning came up with it, but I'm gonna use it because it looks cool. Here's another one. Ooh, you like that transition? Yeah, you liked it? All right, because it's the next day now and I'm gonna give you tip number three. I'm making breakfast right now. I'm making two eggs, tortillas, some cheese. Making my protein shake to take with me. I got my lunch ready. So tip number three is to show up. You gotta show up. Once you've done your research, you got your goals down, you got your diet right, and you already know everything you want, you have to show up. Show up to the gym and kill it. No excuses, and just do it. But TD, what if I don't have enough time? Make time. You have to want it. You have to put it in your head that you want it. You have to think it, imagine it, see it. Once you put it in your mind and you set yourself to go do it, you will do it. There are gonna be times that you're gonna wanna quit. They're gonna be like, this is not worth it. But don't quit, just keep on going. 
These are all good tips, guys. Okay, I got two more tips coming your way. Tip number four, staying focused. You gotta be able to stay focused on your goals. You gotta be able to ignore distractions. Stay on track. Sometimes you have to sacrifice things. You have to sacrifice maybe going out with friends, not eating that burger or that pizza or you know having a few drinks. It takes sacrifice and focus. My focus right now is a back workout. So I'm gonna go focus and crush this back workout. I'll see you guys after. In a world where one man just crushed his workout and a loud truck is behind him. I got about five days till I start my cut and 90 day challenge with CG Christian Guzman Fitness. And I am pumped. It's gonna be good. Oh my God, guys. It's March 1st. Can't believe it's March already. Dang, this year's going by fast. So fast, so fast and fury. Five days left for the cut, for the 90 day challenge. This is gonna be the last video I'm gonna do for this series. So after this one, it's gonna be my summer shredding series. Take two days rest and then the next video is gonna be the start of the shred the start of the 90 day challenge i'm so pumped i should get all the details this sunday and i'll announce all the details on my next video okay okay so last tip tip number five are you guys ready so tip number five is make it a lifestyle yes you have to make it a lifestyle you can't just go to the gym for a month and then quit because you're not a quitter. You can't quit. If you go to the gym for a month and stop, it's not gonna work. If you diet for a month, then stop, it's not gonna work. Keep it consistent, don't quit, and make it a lifestyle. And those are the five tips I wanted to give you guys. I hope they'll help you, and I hope you take them for what you want. Get on the grind, guys. Catch you on the next one.